Alex, that was a difficult game. I mean, Amptel is never an easy place no. to come, but you must have thought this is going to be something different when you went over very quickly. Yeah, look, we come out of the blocks and started really well and, you know, racing to that lead and then, to be honest, discipline let us down quite a bit. We give far too many penalties away today and, you know, um, credit to Amptel, they hang in there, but I think we made it easy for them at times. Um, you know, diving into too many breakdowns, giving too many silly penalties away and you know, I'm pretty disappointed really with that. I can, I can tell because, uh, you know, the tone of your voice, sort of, you were expecting yeah. more. Yeah, look, you know, the way we've been going the last four or five weeks, we've been in a good place and, you know, every game now, we're not viewing it as cup competition, down tools. You know, we, we want to go as far as we can, so really disappointing from where we've been. You know, it was a little bit flat and, you know, just the manner of which we lost, I don't think we really fired many shots off. Line out time, line out D, really good. The mauling at the start, really good. But then other than that, we sort of played within ourselves. But the pleasing thing is it's a two-legged tie and, you know, we'll obviously, at home, in front of our fans, we'll, we'll back ourselves there. When you did have the ball, I mean, you seemed to get stuck in the middle of the park a lot. Yeah, look, the one time we put it, put it together, we scored that try um, through Jimmy Martin. But, you know, I think we, we shut up shop a little bit too early. We, you know, we've been playing a really good brand of rugby the last few weeks. And for whatever reason today, we didn't fire our shots off. So, you know, we'll go away, we'll review it. And that'll be a big message as, you know, we want to play a brand of rugby. I think we got sucked into a bit of a tight, slow game, really. And especially, you know, in the second half when you're playing so much defensive rugby in your own 22. Yeah, look, you don't want to be defending for long periods of the game. And we give penalty after penalty, giving them shot after shot. And the line-out D kept us in the game at times. But, you know, it, it wasn't enjoyable to watch watching us defend for 60 minutes. Um, you know, better, you know, yeah, just disappointing, <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's, there's not a great deal to say other than disappointing nah. because I mean, you've you clearly got the talent and we saw the, the Jim, uh, James Martin's try wonderful piece of play Ryan Burrows going over um, and uh, the opening try uh, from um, Jordan Paul fantastic stuff but you just couldn't stick enough of it together no it was, it was just it was a bit part performance it's, you saw a glimmer like oh here we go well, the way we start a game brilliant away from home I wouldn't ask for a better start but that middle bit of the game really we just got sucked into a you know, a slow, ponderous game, and that's not what we're about. So the challenge for us is on our own surface next week, you know, how can we put tempo into the game? Because today we didn't, and I think the penalty count will be ridiculous when we watch that back. So you know, we can't give that many penalties away. Obviously going down to 14 men and then 13 rapidly didn't help. Um, you mentioned discipline. How do you sort that out? Listen, at half-time, the message, you know, we, we felt, thought we'd address it at half-time in the messaging. You know, if our messaging has to be better, I thought it was pretty clear. So you look, we'll look at that as individuals, um, look at the review. But at the end of the day, some of them were silly, silly penalties. Um, you know, we said leave a breakdown alone, and I'm pretty sure we'd have been all right. But the players have got to take the messages on, and, and maybe we've got to be better with our messages. Um, that's something we'll look at as a group. You, you seem to have come out largely injury-free, apart from Evan Mitchell. Yeah, he took a bang. You know. Um, until they assess, you never know what pulls up, but we've obviously got a week off now, no game in between, so it gives them a chance to get the bodies back if we've got a few sore bodies. But um, no, I almost want to play it again tomorrow, really, if I could, because I think the players feel that a little bit as well. It was really flat in there, but, you know, uh, not a pleasing thing, but it's half-time in the tie, two-legged tie, so, you know, there's plenty to play for and we want to progress in the Cup and, and do well. It does put a lot of pressure on you when you get back to the Butts Park Arena. Yeah, you know, one score and it's back to, to level. So, you know, we'll be focused on winning that game and the score will take care of itself. We've seen what we can do at home at times when we get our tails up and, you know, Ampton will be doing their best to slow us down and drag us into that dogfight. And, you know, we'll have to find a way to change what we did today. Right, Alex, thanks very much. Pleasure, mate. Cheers, Thank mate. you. Take care.